Okay, we got another blast from the past here. This is from the mid 1980s. This is the radio controlled Lobo 3 by Nico. I don't know if any of you have ever had one of these. This particular one actually was not mine, it was my friend David's. I had a Nico myself. I don't remember the model, but I bashed the crap out of it. And looking at this one, it looks like David did the same thing. This is a non running uh, model. The transmission has been taken out, but Again, just kind of another blast from the past. So I'll, I'll go over some of the, the features that it has, go over the box art with you, um, and uh, just take a closer look. So uh, first thing we'll look at is the controller. So it is one of the first style pistol grips. Make sure that uh, goes in there okay. Yeah, okay. So you have your reverse, which is pushing forward. You have your stop, which is neutral, low, and then you have your turbo. Oh yeah, remember these things with the turbo? The turbo made one hell of a difference. It was awesome. Of course, you have your steering wheel, left to right. That's just full left, full right. Antenna's not removable. It even tells you that it is for the Lobo 3. It takes one 9-volt battery. It's even got the EverReady Classic in there. Let's see if this thing, oh, it doesn't work. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, just so a nice uh, nice little uh, transmitter there. It came in two different frequencies. There's a 27 and a 49. This is uh, the 49.860 megahertz. All right, moving on to the car. It's got some kind of cool stickers on it. Die Hard, number 12, it's Lobo. It's got a wolf on it. That classic 80s door wedge styling. Very edgy, very sharp. It's got nice vents in here. It's got an air intake up here. You have your friction dampeners that have at least a good, you know, half to three quarters of an inch worth of travel. Same with the back. It actually did take it, uh, a stick pack, so it took a a 7.2 volt six pack and a nine volt battery in here. This is where you actually uh, adjusted your trim for your steering left and right. You know, the tires are actually in pretty good shape. Uh, nice pointy knobby tires. This was huge back in the eighties. Uh, normally you never see them with this many, uh, this much point on there. Usually they're all worn right down. Uh, it did have a selectable high and low transmission. Very cool. And again, it's got friction shocks in the back. So moving out of the way, let's take a look at the box. Let's move this over here and move the box over here. And it's just a camera up a little bit here. So I don't know if you can see this, but it was actually from Sears and it was $79.99. And if I can, there we go. Of course, box art showing it on the moon. Going really, really fast as it stands still. Has a whole bunch of, you know, material on there. It's got a new crash bar, high-speed turbo boost Mabachi RS360 motor. That's awesome. It's fully function, 100-foot range. Now it's funny here, I'll, let me bring this up here. This was actually a big thing back in the 80s when you actually had a car that could go forward backwards, left and right, and left and right backwards. That was actually a big deal. Nowadays you don't think anything of it, but back then you didn't have cars that did that. Anyway, just one more blast from the past on some of the material that I have here. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, upcoming videos are on their way. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.